Should you get an iPhone 4 since 2019? With all the new phones coming out every single month, they get pretty pricey. So let's just go over the specs of this phone and see if it's worth buying. This phone is extremely cheap at only $15 to $35. Anyways, the camera is actually pretty good at an 8 megapixel camera, which can take pretty decent photos along with a single flash. Has sadly only a 1 megapixel selfie camera, which is actually not that great. But after we got this camera, so the processor. The processor is not that bad. It is pretty dated, but it's not horrible. It can actually, it can load decent apps up very fast, like the settings that right here. It can actually load that very fast, instantly almost. But one major thing to consider is the screen size. It's only three and a half inches, which is very small. And yeah, so that's kind of a very bad thing to consider. That the screen size is so incredibly small. And it's not, the screen cannot get that bright when you're just outside using the thing. It's going to be almost impossible to see the screen and to even hear the speakers. But if you don't know, it actually has two speakers, unlike the newer iPhones, you're showing you have one. But these two speakers are not loud speakers and actually are very, almost incredibly hard to hear outside. If it's just some loud noise outside or just going to be not that loud noise, just very hard to hear outside. But as far as volumes go, this thing can be heard pretty good inside. And the brightness is also good inside, but just terrible outside. Has a pre has a classic mute switch within the circle buttons right here, and it has a home button. This is another thing to consider. There's no special touch ID or face ID features, as the feature is a simple home button. Also, the charger is actually very old when it comes to chargers at a 30 pin charger, which is actually very hard to find most these days. You can find them, however, online very easily, so that's the okay thing, I guess. But I absolutely love this glass back design and I think they should have kept it. They do have it now for the iPhone X and higher, but they should have kept it with all the other phones. I think the glass back looks pretty awesome. But here's another plus side to consider. This thing actually features a headphone jack on top right here, which is very hard to find these days in most devices. So that's actually very great, and along with a single mic right here next to the audio jack. So that's pretty good, has a headphone jack. So as far as the speed swiping through the apps right here, it actually is very fast. So Let's go the all-around score of this device. This device I'll give a six and a half out of ten, or let's even just give it a seven stars out of ten, because this thing actually do pretty good in 2019 and had a pretty decent processor along with a pretty decent cameras. The selfie camera is actually pretty terrible, but the rear camera can actually take some pretty decent shots, and it does have a pretty good flashlight slash flash for the camera, so that's pretty good. So it's totally up to you if you want to get this device, but I. Would recommend it if you wanted a super cheap budget for a phone. Let's say you have a budget for forty dollars or less phone, then I would recommend this phone because it's actually pretty good for the price. Anyways, thank you for watching my video today. Please like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>